So guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics entry, uh, a few 2021 question paper, now on question number five. So we just wanna see how we're supposed to answer these typical questions. Just looking at the questions, we can see that uh, some of this part was actually uh, clear, You're having a total of 20 marks, but uh, just looking at the questions, I'm seeing that it's something that is clear. So guys, uh, most of your questions, they require you to draw diagrams, to give a principle of operation. So most of the part is theory part, but this theory part or the diagrams, make sure that you study them according to what the department wants you to answer these questions. There can be so many ways that you can use, but try by all means, to relate to what they have given before so that you can be able to maximize your marks. Okay, without wasting much time, we are going to quickly rush through the questions. Uh, question 5.1, we are asked to draw a neat labeled block diagram. This is a block diagram of a continuous balance digital vote meter. So we are showing a digital vote meter, but in terms of a block diagram. All right, so that's what we had here on uh, 5.1. Okay, that is uh, a block diagram. We are given the an um, analog, which is a non-voltage, the comparator. All right, then we've got the clock, the clock here. Then that is where we are going to have everything being interchanged, okay, to the counter, then to the display, that is the reset. And uh, we've got the DA converter there. So that is uh, the diagram, block diagram. I think uh, everything was clear there. Okay, uh, then 5.2, draw a neat labeled block diagram again of a frequency counter. That's a frequency counter on 5.2. So we've got our frequency counter. So it's just, it's not the same, but if you had to check it, this, you will see, so make sure that you know these diagrams, how they are presented. So you've got the, un, uh, the analog input signal, the amplifier, the time base generator, the counter to the display. That is what we have on this. So uh, make sure that the block diagram, you will indicate properly and answer the question. When you're asked to draw, draw. if it is to explain, then you must explain. There, it was just to draw. 5.3 is the same thing. We are given that silicon controlled rectifiers are part of the thyristor family and are essentially power diodes. That one we know about these uh, rectifiers. Draw the characteristic curve. So they are just giving you a statement to confuse you, to confuse you. But the question is for you to draw the characteristic curve or for a silicon controlled rectifier. That is the question there. All right. So what does it look like? Uh, that's what we have there. That's the characteristic F, uh, which is uh, more is more of uh, we are going back to that Zener diode by part, but having some little differences that we have. Okay, so we've got the reverse breakdown voltage, the forward conduction region, the forward breakdown uh, break over voltage, sorry, and the reverse breakdown uh, region. So that is what we have: the reverse current and the forward current. Uh, I think we will mark, um, if you can be able to label these, you can be able to obtain four marks for that. So I just advise you guys, please do revise as much as you can uh, follow more videos so that you can be able to know also how do they want you to answer these questions? What is the expectation? 5.4, to understand the working of a silicon control rectifier, it is best to consider it has two transistors describe the working principle of a silicon control rectifier by using the two transistor analog. All right, so when you are having two transistors, what it did, is it like? Okay, so uh, the first part there, uh, let's get back to the question. To understand the working, uh, the working uh, of a silicon control rectifier, the best is to consider if it has, it, it has two transistors, okay, that, uh, okay, that is, knowing it as two transistors, describe the working of a silicon controlled rectifier by using the two transistor analog. So we're going to have the diagram, then the explanation. Okay, so that's our silicon controlled rectifier here. 
uh, having our two diodes, Q1 and uh, Q2. So the anode, then we have got the GET, uh, the cathode. Remember, if you are now having a we'll be having the GET. So R1 and R2, uh, that's our cathode here, and that's our anode there. All right, then this is the gate. So these are the two transistors, Q1 and Q2. So here we are given that a positive pulse on the gate forward biases the best emitter junction of Q2. That is our Q2, the best emitter. Uh, co a collector current of Q2 begins to flow. So after that, we are going to have the collector current flowing now it is going to q1 which is the second the the transistor that we are having second one collector current of q2 will switch on q1 that is what we have here like i was saying it's going to switch this q1 then the collectors of both transistors provide enough base voltage to keep both transistors on just the collectors okay so the collectors of both transistors provide enough base voltage to keep both transistors on. So that's the operation of a silicon control rectifier uh, where we are referring to as a two transistor uh, part. So that's how uh, you can be able to, 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 to describe this using the two transistor terminology, uh, two transistor analog. Okay, uh, 5.4 silicon control rectifiers are not easy to switch off. Name one method to switch off silicon controlled rectifiers. Why are they not easy to switch off, guys? Why is it so? Okay, anyways, we want the methods that we can use in terms of uh, switching off. So by using commutation, you can be able to switch off your silicon control rectifier or reducing the anode cathode voltage below the minimum holding current. Remember we said those uh, collectors, they'll be having enough current to, to switch on. So if we can be able to reduce the current to a minimum holding current, then it can actually or automatically switches off. So that's how um, we had, that's that's what we had actually from this part of the person. Now, that's that means you are now supposed to revise on more question papers, uh, gather in your question papers, draw the diagrams, understand these diagrams. So uh, with this, you can be able to go far. So that's it, guys, for Maison African Motives, working on industrial electronics entry. Uh, papers, yeah, these are question papers, actually, and some of the revisions as time goes on. But for now, working with question papers till we meet again.